Uh, we're just past the uh, longitude of 170 west and we're into the Southern Ocean, we're at 40, 43 south. And uh, each of the boats in the Volvo fleet's been given a, a, a drifter buoy to deploy. Now, the background to this is that it, it's believed the Southern Ocean absorbs up to about 60% of the heat and anthropogenic CO2 that is produced. And what I mean by anthropogenic CO2, the CO2 that we as humans produce. So that the Southern Ocean is a very important um, sink that is absorbing this CO2 and slowing the pace of global warming. However, it's having an impact uh, on, on the ocean and we need to understand that better. This one's been built by Scripps, uh, been given to us by NOAA, I believe, and I imagine it has uh, uh, salinity, um, sea surface temperature, uh, barometric pressure, and um, because it has a GPS, it'll have drift rate. And so all of these things will be recorded. The, the buoy is quite low to the water, so there'll be no windage. So it has a drogue, and what it will record is the current speeds. Yeah, it feels like I'm back in my old job. It, um, it's the little things like this that actually end up over many years providing the stories that lead to the increase in understanding of our knowledge. What have you built, Phil? What is this? This is Sputnik. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. Just, we just trapped a satellite. That Will, ju Will just made this. Looks like, looks like this. He's been up in the bow for three days making this. Have you guys done this before? This doesn't look cumbersome or awkward or anything. Holy it's smokes. Another adventure of Will and Nick. Hold it, hold it. I got you. One, two, three, go. Okay, 2103. Big hunk of trash in the ocean. 